Today in Review This Thing, we're going to give you a quick tour of the Beretta BRX1. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. And by now, you should know that we absolutely love us some bolt action rifles. We just posted a quick look at the Taurus Expedition. And today, we're going to take you on a quick tour of the first hunting rifle from Beretta, the BRX1. Beretta, as you know, is very well known for their fancy shotguns. So when they offered us the opportunity to test out this rifle, we were pretty excited. The BRX-1 is different from any other rifle I've shot because it has a true straight pull action, which we're going to talk about here in just a minute. We haven't shot it yet, but we wanted to go ahead and show it to you. Let's preview this thing. The Beretta BRX-1 is available in 300 Win Mag, 308, and 65 Creedmoor and it comes in black, green, or carbon. The one we have is obviously green, and this is a 6.5 Creedmoor. So some of that information I'll give you is specific to this one. It has a total length of 43 inches, and it weighs 7.3 pounds unloaded. As it is, we have the Burris Signature HD 3 to 15 by 44 on it, and it weighs right at 9.7 pounds. So it's definitely not going to be your lightest rifle out there. We're going to start our tour as we usually do with the stock. It's made from what they call a high performance polymer. It has a textured feel to it, which is nice for holding on to it. And it does feel really heavy duty. The BRX1 does have a length of pull adjustments. Right now we don't have any spacers on it and it measures right at 14 inches, which is a little bit longer than I like. But if you want it longer than 14, they have uh, half inch spacers available. I would like it a little shorter, but we're still able to get a good sight picture, so I think it's going to be fine. It has a negative comb, which is meant to minimize muzzle rise and felt recoil into your cheek. So that'll be interesting to see. I do wish that it had an adjustable cheek. I say that all the time. It would make it a lot easier to get a good cheek weld, but I've gotten pretty used to shooting things this way. As we move up the rifle, you're going to see the grip. This one comes with a standard grip, but it's pretty neat that it is adjustable. I just bought the uh, more vertical pistol type grip. This one is just a little too far back for me. I can't really rest comfortably on the grip and easily reach the trigger. I do have pretty small hands though, so that may not be an issue for you at all. At the price point, it would be really nice if it came with both grips, but it also wasn't that terribly expensive. Now we're going to talk about the trigger. The BRX1 has a single stage trigger with three adjustable weights of 2.1, 2.6, or 3.3 pounds. My trigger gauge may be off a little bit, but I was measuring it right around 1.8 pounds. And I have to say that it's very smooth, easy to squeeze, feel like it's going to help with accuracy a lot. Moving up, we're going to see the removable flush mount magazine. I love this type of magazine. I have a lot of trouble loading from the top. So anytime I can load my magazine and then easily load it into the gun, makes me happy. Instead of a release on either the front or the back, this one you just squeeze and it easily comes out. And in case you can't tell, it's high vis. So if you drop it in the woods or in your range bag, easy to find. Looking at the fore end, you'll see it's not completely flat, but it is flatter than many hunting or sporter style stocks, which makes it good for resting on a bench or a rail or even a bipod. It does have these indentations, which are perfect for your thumb and your fingers if you're actually standing, shouldering the gun whenever you're shooting with it. Moving on up to the top of the BRX-1, you see it has a three position safety. This is very different than any other safety that we've used. The first slide position means you can work the bolt, but the trigger is on safe. That third position, it'll turn red, and that is your firing position. The thing that's a little bit odd to me is just how much force it takes to move it. I got to practice with that so that in the heat of the moment, I can actually get it up there where it goes and not have it get stuck. Now it's time to talk about this straight pull action. Again, we haven't really ever shot a gun that has this, so I'm interested to see how that's going to play out in real time. One really nice thing about that straight pull action is that you can mount your scope as low as you want because you don't have to rotate a bolt up and then work it. And they say once you get used to not having to pull the bolt up, it's really the fastest way to reload. 
Another really cool thing about this action is that it is fully ambidextrous. So a lot of people, left-handers, have trouble finding rifles they like. This one can be left or right, and it's actually really easy to switch over. It also has independent adjustment with the pull and the ejection port. So if you want it to eject on the same side, it can, or if you want it to eject on the other side for some reason, you can set it up that way too. So far, this action is really smooth and easy to work, so it should be pretty cool to shoot. The only potential concern I could see with it is that if I were to pull it back with my cheek where it goes to get a full sight picture, then it gets really, really close to my cheek. So I just have to be really careful not to whack myself in the face with it. Next, you're gonna see an integrated pick rail, which is a feature I really like because number one, you don't have to buy something extra. And number two, there's no concern about making sure that it's torqued correctly. Another thing about the rail I wanna point out is that it is integrated into the barrel extension. This is cool because the barrels on the BRX-1 are meant to be modular. This is 6.5 Creedmoor. I can have this set up for deer, pronghorn hunting, and then I can switch out the whole barrel assembly magazine and get the 300 Win Mag and be ready for elk hunting. And because the rail is part of the barrel, you have your scope zeroed, ready to go. That whole thing comes out. So when you switch it out, in theory, you're already zeroed and ready to go which seems like a pretty smart way to have one multi-purpose rifle. Speaking of the barrel, the 6.5 Creedmoors is 22, closer to 22 and a half with the muzzle thread, and it is a cold hammer forged barrel with a one and eight twist rate. It is threaded 5 eighths by 24, which you know I love because that means we're gonna definitely be shooting it suppressed at some point. The BRX-1 does come with a sub MOA guarantee from Beretta, so we are very much looking forward to testing that out. We'll definitely be doing some group testing videos with this, so you may wanna subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you won't miss it when those come out. If you think you may want a bit more information about the BRX-1, there's a link in the description that you can take to our website and learn whatever you wanna know. And make sure if you found this video helpful, click that like button. Also comment and let us know what you think about it, especially if you have a BRX-1, we would love to know your experience with it. And as always, thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Beretta BRX-1 quick tour. While you're here, like it, comment, share it with your friends, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, head over to our website, reviewthisthingtv.com, subscribe to our newsletter, and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and X.